welcome to Neighborhood Community Shoutouts. Yep. I'm feeling a little bit better today. I'm not constantly dizzy. She is now. It just comes and goes. Mm-hmm. Ouch. And I just hit my funny bone. And it's not funny. Okay. Uh, we uh, got a correction to make. <laughs> we weren't sure if it was Josh Schmo. We did this already. Jo well, we're fixing it. We fixed it yesterday. No, we didn't. We asked him to tell us which one it was. Which one was it? I'm going to tell you. Okay. We weren't so sure if it was Josh Mo, Joe Schmo, 65 by 2. So, he let us know today it is Joe Schmo, 65 by 2. So, officially, Joe Schmo, 65 by 2, welcome to the neighborhood. Okay, are you happy now? All right. Jacob Fox, welcome to the neighborhood. Bella Chant, I'm not sure if we welcomed you or not, but welcome to the neighborhood. Because if I don't know, I always welcome you again. Alan Sharkey, welcome to the neighborhood. And he came over from Steve W's channel. So thank you, Steve, for sending people over our way. Okay, my question yesterday is, if we asked your parents to tell us the funniest story about you growing up, what would they tell us? Okay, I got Freckles here with us. Hi, neighborhood community! Okay. Okay, and we are going to tell We can't you. tell them all because there, every, there was a lot of them and some of them are pretty long, so. Yeah. We're going to do, what, five? Uh, yes, five. And uh, then, right. Kevin and mine, will you stop licking my hand so I can work? Um, Andy Lupus Live! My answer is, when I climbed up on top of the refrigerator where the jar of flour was stored and covered myself and I guess most of the kitchen with flour. You were just trying to bake. Destiny Swan. Being that my grandmother raised me would say the funniest thing about me growing up would be the time me and my cousin made gasoline mud pies. They weren't too happy with us at the time, but we all laughed about it now, or we all laugh about it now. My cousin reminded me of that. Yeah, we got in big trouble. Yeah, I would say so. Those, those might have been a little flammable. Scott Jenny. I don't know which one this is, but my mother would probably tell you about the story when I was really young and we owned a pet mouse. How she let me hold it and by accident I dropped him on the floor. He proceeded to run up inside of my pant leg. I started running around the house screaming in total terror. They all kind of thought it was funny at the time. I sure didn't think so. So... That's that's why we asked about the parents. <laughs> stories are usually not something you you want to hear again. Yeah. Okay. And next one is Joe Schmo, sixty five by two. My parents and I were visiting my aunt, and she owned some chickens. I was told not to mess with the chickens because they had mites on them. I didn't know what mites were. So I went out into the chicken coop, being the, be, being the smart person that I am, started looking for eggs. Suddenly I started feeling something crawling all over my body. The mites looked like a tiny black wave that was rushing up and over my body. I frantically ran to the house and told them what had happened and my parents didn't want me to come in the house. So they put me in the cellar 
and my mom hosed me off with a garden hose. Of course, the water was scalding hot at first and then freezing cold because it was the middle of summer and my aunt had well water. To make matters worse, I was claiming that I could feel the mites digging in as I was dancing in the cellar to avoid hot and cold water. My mom was rolling with laughter. Of course, I took a bath afterwards and then had to wear some of my aunt's clothes because I did not have clean clothes with me to put on. Those were the days, I guess. <laughs> Groovy, man. And the last one I'm going to read is the YouTube guy. Funniest story would probably be the time that I took the door doors apart on my uncle's 67 Corvette. Albeit, I was four at the time. They never left me alone unsupervised with power tools around a car ever again. <laughs> I probably wouldn't have left you alone with power tools, period. So, what, what about you, babe? Well, I hear this story over and over again, but at, I've heard it so many times that I can't remember whether it was me or my brother that my mother tells the story about. But she tells the story that when uh, I was a little kid, that uh, she had company over, and I would go and get glasses of water for them. You've heard this one, right? So I, I would, and they kept asking for water, and I kept giving them water. And then uh, finally, uh, uh, my mom said, "You know, why don't you get some water?" She says, "I can't because it's empty." And so she went with me to to look where I was getting the water, and I was getting the water out of the toilet. He's grown since then, guys. He does know how to get water, so if you ever visit, you don't get to put water here. It's the only water I could reach if you're not pH. <laughs> I don't know where I got the glasses, but that's another story, I suppose. <laughs> I don't know. So, which... Okay, first let me tell you about Megan. I don't know how old Megan was. It was just her and I. Um, and she slept walk. And I got up in the morning, and I couldn't find Megan. Anywhere. I looked. Everywhere. Under the bed. In the kitchen. In the closets. In the cabinets. Everywhere. I'm getting ready to call the police because I'm thinking, okay, somebody kidnapped my daughter out of my house. My door was locked. When all of a sudden she pops up out of her toy box. She was sleepwalking and walked to her toy box, climbed in her toy box, and closed her toy box down and was sleeping in her toy box. Scared the bejesus out of me. I, and my story that my mother will tell you is, my mother had a broken tailbone and could not walk, especially up and down stairs. My friend Renee and I were in the basement of our house and all our pipes are showing, you know, our water pipes and everything are showing. And Renee and I decided we were going to play darts. Well, we have a dartboard. But we decided we weren't going to play darts using the dartboard. That's no fun. We were going to play darts, throwing it at different things, and see if we can hit the target that we decide we're going to aim for. Well, I don't know if it was Renee or me, but one of us hit a water pipe. And... We pulled the dart out, and here comes water shooting out of this pipe. So, I'm standing there with my finger on the pipe. Renee goes upstairs to tell my mother. My mother can't come downstairs, so she calls next door to tell my neighbor. He comes over, and he comes downstairs, and he sees me standing there with my finger on the pipe, and he says, what happened? And I moved my finger, and water starts shooting out. So he had to shut the whole water down to our house until my dad got home to fix it. And I got in trouble. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, and my question for tonight is, if you can only keep five things, 
not counting family or pets, what five things would you choose to keep? And why? It's time... I hit my elbow again. It's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. Okay, so today, last night's question was about lo the Lost World Jurassic Park 2, 1997. That's what I said. Um, there is a scene where a T-Rex is running down uh, the street in San Diego, and there is a group of uh, Japanese tourists, and they say something. Of course, everybody is saying Godzilla because that's, that's the obvious one, but I don't think they have the rights to the word, so they aren't going to use that. So what they said was, um, I left Japan to get away from this. And some of the sources uh, says I left Tokyo to get away from this. But I don't speak Japanese, so I, I can't confirm which is which, but close enough. And those who got it right was Terry Johnson, the YouTube guy, Greg Myers, Tanya Longley, The Abyss 92882, and Bambi S. Alright, so today's question, you didn't go woohoo. Oh, So, my, tonight's question is about the movie Sleepy Hollow 1999, Tim Burton movie with Johnny Depp and Christina Ricci. And my question, this is kind of an interesting one for all you Star Wars geeks. This movie actually had three Sith Lords in it. And a total of four people in this movie were in Star Wars movies. Who are they? What did they play? Good question. It is. There you have it. There's your trivia question for tonight. You are all part of our neighborhood community. We would not be here if it weren't for all of you out there. We love you all very much. Give us a thumbs up. Make sure to go by and check out all our other stuff. And we will see you tomorrow.